I'm David Connell, chap and fire dog. I'm here to teach you a martial arts course. Fighting and training with glasses. One of the things glasses does is that it makes you lift your chin up so you can see through the glass. You all like to see. We all like to really the pretty tits and ass through in fine detail through our glasses. But when we're fighting, you have to keep our chin down. As you can see, with my chin down, my eyes are looking towards my opponent here. You have to fight the urge to look up, because that's when your chin gets exposed. That's why you want to train with and without your glasses, so that you can understand how to discipline yourself in, in a situation of self-defense. Because I stand there I'm walking on the street, some man's rabid and on drugs and he wants to fight me. So I have to be on guard and put my chin down ready to fight. So when he starts attacking, you know, I don't have to worry, you know, I have my chin down and I don't need to look up because I'm trained not to look up. So I will keep his hands away from my glasses and, and keep him away from punching me and go for low kicks. You know, kick him in the knees, keep his hands away, parry them, kick him in the knees, bam, weaken him, I kick him in the legs, keep him away, keep it distant, bam, and then you should train and then knock him out. Now, one of the things about wearing glasses is that you want to really make sure you're keeping your shin down while training. But I know that when watching your instructor do jujitsu, you want to see them in fine detail. Because I noticed that when blurry, you might miss a step. And it's hard to remember what you've seen the lesson because your memory is fussy, because your vision was fussy. And you're like, wait a minute. How do I do that version of the triangle again? Well, see, that's what I'm saying. That's why you can go up closer or you can wash with the glasses on. I use sport glasses, but I'm breakable. So, so you can wash your opponent and wash the micro steps. So you can see the micro steps. You know, if you're advanced like me, we learn to use the micro steps and fine tuning of performance. So we do like really nice kicks and things. And micro tuning, because there's a lot of variations of how you do things better. Each body is different, and we have our own different little tiny micro steps and performing better. So you want to be able to see. But that's why when you're in limited training and performing, I keep that chin down, by the compulsion to look it up, then be mindful and aware of where your chin is when we're in the glass here. Bam, bam. You know, when they're performing shadow boxing. Shadow boxing. Yeah, because you want to be mindful that your glasses are not ruining your chin placement, as well as your gait and posture and your stand. Because you want to have the right gait and the right movement and the right placement of the jaw so you're able to see. And one of the things, you want to obscure your vision with your hand. I mean, it's inevitable that your hands are going to be in front of your vision when you block. You know, back on the jab, on the cloth, and then the hook, jab cross hook. But one would thinks about that, is that, you know, that's why we have this position here, at like a 45 degree, you know, an L-shaped situation going on here, which you can see, you know, like there, and I'm seeing this way, and that's my vision here. You know, some guys are starting to fight like this, and this is where I'm obscuring your view and your vision. 
Here you can see the kicks that you're going to expose your head to, the kicks here. Uh, you can see them here. That's why when you're like this, and, you know, you have a, a, a periphery vision here, this angle here. So that's why we, you know, my tie style, you know, fighting like this, and, and blocking like this, and blocking, bam. Mm. So, one of the things you want to be able to test and uh, train, drill, have your opponent, have your partner attack you with a kick. Pay attention to how they move so you can see the kick without seeing the leg. So you don't have to worry about seeing the kick. But I'm on my back like this, I'm going, wait a minute, I can't see them kicking my leg. But I'm like, no look, I can see the kick coming in my leg. That's why you know, I'm like this. See, you know, boxers, they kind of like to fight like this, and they're real close. But here, man, you know, I can't see them. They kick, and man, I'm not protecting my head. My Thai style. I level, boom, like this. My Thai style, like this. Protecting my side here. Protecting my rib, like this, here. And so, if I'm going to put them, move down my shift my body a bit. Mm, mm. So, that's the thing, when I pay attention, careful attention to your guard, because you start doing unnecessary adjustments to your guard, weird tricks and styles or uh, different variations, sometimes that creeps in your routine and you start doing you now. Instead of doing this, and then you'll get confused because you really need to know why this is the season to your scene, the guard. And wearing glasses when you're fighting or training, not to keep your chin down, not let the glasses make you lift your chin up. It's a very difficult, um, the very difficult temptation to fight, to resist. You no, know, you're gonna resist the temptation like when you see. So you have to really be mindful, something you have to think. Like before you go into class, think, I'm going to keep my chin down when wearing my glasses. I'm gonna be mindful of this. This is the pre-preparation. Like you, before class, when you work out, you stretch, warming up before you work out, stretching. The same with the mind. I'm thinking I'm going to mentally prepare to keep my shin down and not let my glasses lift my head up. So that way I can train with my glasses on. So I'm down prepared. And so when someone fights me, I can take off my glasses and toss it and attack. But if I don't have the time to toss them off, I still got my chin down. So I think that's probably your best idea. You know, you can chin, I mean, you could do this. You can have the glasses down here if you have a, a strap, you know, or you can lift them off behind you real quickly if you need to in a fight so that you're not bothered by the glasses while fighting because they can be a deterrent to a self defense on the street. So there are different ways, you know. If you have a strap, you can take them off here, around here real quickly, and I can go boom, and I'm ready to fight. Or here, I can take them off right behind me, and they're off. And I'm ready to go, ready to elbow the fuck on the face, boom, and break his skull, tear his eyeballs out, knee him in the face, crack his neck, and kill him. And that, that's why, you know, how we learn to be prepared, do we have to be mindful of what's going on, you know? And so that's the it for our course, training and fighting with glasses by David Cardamone. Nude and champion fighter.